Okay, action. Okay, so today we're going to talk about multiplying fractions. And the kind of question that you're going to get in a paper at school or an exam is going to be something like a fifth of 40 pounds. Okay, that's a really good question. So what it means is, if you've got five friends and you want to share 40 pounds amongst each of them, how many pounds is each friend going to get? Well, wherever you see this of, it means multiply. So what I'm going to do is change that like that. And I'm going to leave that one-fifth like that. And that 40, I'm going to ignore the 40, the pound sign, and I'm just going to call it 40 like that. But just because it's really easy, if you do it for a fraction, is to also put a denominator of 1 underneath it. That means exactly the same as 40, because 40 divided by 1 is 40. Now, so the question is, one-fifth of, or one-fifth times 40 over 1. And what you can do is if you imagine that this line continues all the way across there, and one of the things that we talked about before on the videos is whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that 5 and that 40 I can make a little bit smaller so it makes it a little bit easier for me to deal with. So how many times does 5 go into 40? 8 times. So I can now make that 1 and I can make that 40 8. And it just makes it a little bit easier to multiply. So the question now is 1 times 8 is 8 over 1 times 1, which is 1. So the answer is 8 over 1, which is 8. Or, if you prefer, 8 pounds. So each of your five friends are going to get 8 pounds each. Now, supposing that we change it slightly, and we're going to say a slightly different question, which is going to be 3 fifths of 40. Okay. Well, this way, we can do exactly the same as the way that we've done it before. So I'm going to change that of to a multiply. I'm going to say 3 over 5 times 40 over 1. And then what I can do is imagine that that line continues all the way across there. So whatever I do to the top, I can do to the bottom. So again, I'm going to get rid of this 5 and that 40 by say that becomes 1 and that becomes 8. So the question now is 3 times 8, which is 24, 1 times 1, which is 1. So the answer to 3 fifths of 40 is 24 over 1 or 24. So if you like, 3 fifths of 40 pounds is 24 pounds. So the important things to do is to remember that of means multiply, and whatever you do to the top, you must do to the bottom, and that will give you your answer, and that's how to multiply fractions together.